how to create hexagon shapes in Photoshop. The key tool is the polygon tool. You might find it in a different location depending on your customization of your toolbar. You can create all kinds of amazing hexagon shapes in Photoshop. Go to the top left and select the shape option. Set the fill color to gradient or pattern or solid color or nothing. Select one of the gradient presets. Set the stroke to nil. Go to the gear icon and click that. Set the smooth and star to unchecked. Set the size value to six. That is the key one for the hexagon shape. You can add the shape by clicking on the document or just dragging. Initially, I'm going to use the dragging approach. Hold down the shift key. The shift key constrains the angle of the hexagon. Alternatively, you can click the document to bring up a panel, enter a height and width and the number of sides, six. Click OK. You don't have to just use gradients. Go to the fill in the top left, set to grey and then apply the design again. As this is a layer, you can go to the layers panel and set the blending mode and opacity to something different. I generally use a layers mode, but you can go to the top left and set it to pixels. Apply the hexagon shape using the current foreground color, which you can change at any point via the toolbar. You can then fill the entire document with hexagons. You can change the color via the toolbar and then apply it with the new color. All these designs can be saved to your library for future use. Remove them and then go back to the top left and set to shape again. To create hexagon line designs, set the fill to nothing, set the stroke to black and set a stroke width. Go to the stroke options and set dashes and then apply the hexagon design. Hold down the shift key to constrain the angle for the hexagon shape. You can modify the stroke options in numerous ways to create dashes as well as dots and many variations. You can then fill the document completely with these lovely hexagon line designs. Set the fill to red, set the stroke to black and then apply the hexagon design again. Using the shape option, it's a vector design and you can modify the individual points. To do that, go to the direct selection tool in the toolbar. Click on one of the points of the hexagon and then move that point. You can create all kinds of variant hexagons. As you're not adding any additional points to the shape, it is still a hexagon. Undo those point changes and go back to a regular hexagon shape. With the move tool selected and the shape selected, hold down the Alt or Option key and drag to duplicate that design. Resize the hexagon shape, make it smaller and then align them using the Align tools, horizontally and vertically. Select both shapes, go to the Layer menu and Combine Shapes and use Subtract Front Shape. You have a hexagon frame shape. Duplicate the hexagon shape via the Alt or Option key Drag. You can also use the Layer menu and Duplicate Layer. Delete the shapes and go to the Polygon tool in the toolbar and then drag out and draw a new hexagon. You can convert the hexagon shape into a smart object. So go to Layer menu, Smart Objects and convert to Smart Object. You can now add all kinds of smart filters as well as adjustments to that shape. Undo the conversion to the smart object. Just turn it back to a normal shape. Duplicate the shape using the Alt or Option key and drag. Select both of the shapes, align them using the alignment tools. Select the inner shape and set the fill to yellow. Select both of the shapes and then go to the layer menu and Smart Objects and convert to Smart Object. Smart Objects can be rotated, duplicated, resized and much more. Add a Smart Filter. Go to the Filter menu and Blur and Box Blur perhaps. Smart Filters can be removed as well as modified at any point. You can also use the hexagon shapes to create patterns. Go to the Layers panel and then delete the background layer. Select the background layer and go down to the bottom and that little trash can at the bottom, click that. Go to the Rectangular Marquee tool and then select all of the design. Go to the Edit menu and Define Pattern and click OK. 
You have just created a new pattern preset. Go to the layer menu and flatten image and then go to edit menu and fill. Select the pattern preset, select the pattern option, set script on and then go to the random fill option. Click OK. Set the density, set the scale factor and set the randomization. You can see roughly the result in the preview. Click OK. If you need more hexagon shapes, you can always apply the fill again and again. Of course, instead of using fill, you can always just duplicate the shape over and over again and change the color each time. You can always create amazing 3D shapes using the hexagon. Go to the polygon tool and then create a new hexagon shape. Select shape and go to the 3D menu. You can use new mesh from layer or use a new 3D extrusion. Turning a shape or layer into a 3D design takes a few seconds to process. The 3D model can now be rotated, scaled and much, much more. You can also export it to other applications via the 3D menu. You can always rasterize or convert it into a normal layer via the layer menu or turn it into a smart object via the layer menu, smart objects and convert to smart object. You can now fill the entire document with those 3D hexagon designs. You can also use the hexagon shape as a great source for additional patterns via the edit menu and define pattern. Or use the hexagon shape as a great source for brushes. Or combine the hexagon shape with styles via the window menu. Or add bevels, drop shadows, etc. via the layer menu and layer styles. Or change the color of the design via the image menu and adjustments. The key thing throughout this video is the polygon tool and the number of sides. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Photoshop and Illustrator and many others, so please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please add a comment or two, always appreciated. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.